It's giving Bottega, it's giving knockoff or fancy on the budget, luxury on the budget. <laughs> Double text got me out of my element. I don't want to feel like I'm settling. Double texting. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Morgan Flowers. If you are new here, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not new here, hey boo, what's up? <laughs> um, it is Monday and I'm sitting here trying to figure out what to wear. Hmm. You guys know I'm going to Houston this week. I did tell you guys in my last vlog that I'm going to be combining all the whole week into one vlog. I'm not going to make a specific Houston vlog. So y'all going to see the Houston vlog in this vlog. So make sure you keep watching. And check your girl out. Okay, so let me show you guys what my place looks like right now. I'm trying to figure out outfits. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. So the process, it's actually crazy. So I actually have some shoes, I mean not shoes, glasses and stuff all over here. Because as I put the outfits together, I'm going to be pairing them with bags and shoes and all that good stuff. Um, so literally everywhere, girl, everywhere. So... This is the process. I do leave Wednesday morning, so I make sure I want to make sure that I have everything out, ready, packed by tomorrow. So I did pretty much sit here and I got all my outfits together, but now it's just pairing them with jewelry and like getting all the details and stuff out of the way, or all the accessories, you know. So that's the process right now. And for Houston, when I get there, I'm going to show you guys my outfits in more detail. I'm not going to show you them right now. But in more detail, when I'm there and I'm getting dressed, I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing and everything like that. So, <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> so, um, I do have to work later. It is 1230. So, I'm going to start, like, putting everything aside and just pairing stuff, like I said, with the, with the outfits. Pairing the outfits with the shoes and bags and glasses and stuff like that. So, I'll be right back. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Um, I told you guys in my previous vlog that I had to film for Bike Up with Monty today. So I'm headed to do that. To do that, as you guys saw, I kind of tried to paint my nails earlier. They don't look, they look all right. They're wearable. That's what it is. It's not like they ain't better than the salon, but, or they're not as good as the salon, but they're still wearable. Um, and I'm probably going to do the same color to my nails. My nails are just so short. Like, they're just not even, like, growing. It's focusing on me, of course. But they're not even, like, growing. Like, it's weird. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe I should try hair, skin, and nails pills or, or the gummies. Um, I used to take them, like, years ago. But I stopped, of course. I can't really, I honestly can't say if I remember seeing a difference. But, um... I'm headed to the thing now. I'm going to give you guys a little montage of the event. Just like she's just interviewing um, a business owner. So I'll have all of that together in a moment. Hey guys, it is Tuesday. It's 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> um, I'm actually packing. Um, I got off work. Didn't go to sleep. Nothing. Look at my ears. Oh my gosh. Girl. Um, but I just took a shower and um, I did my skin routine. All that good stuff. Um, I'm just like sorting all the skin the skincare stuff that I want to bring. I do want to film a skincare, a, a nighttime routine um, while I'm there. So I was like, let me make sure I have everything that I use um over the over the course of the last couple of i guess months i've been getting a couple of different skincare products but i only want to bring what i'm actually using the mask that i use of course the dr dennis gross 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 pads girl i always mess it up anyway the dr dennis pads um and just stuff like that my toner of course y'all always i've definitely talked to you guys about my super goop my unseen sunscreen this is my like little holy grail um, so I want to make sure I bring everything. I just have it kind of laid out and I started packing already earlier. Um, so let me flip the camera. <sighs> okay, she's packing. So this was earlier shoes. I'm not, I don't have you guys on my tripod because I literally packed it up earlier already. Um, bag, you know, y'all know I got my waters in here. Um, so that's pretty much that. Um, so I'm going to get the remainder of the stuff, pajamas, 
underwear, like all that type of stuff. I do have my snacks, so I have to put them in my suitcase too. My purses, my bags. I gotta fill my carry-on. I'm gonna be leaving in like an hour. It's like I said, it's like 2:30. Yeah, so I want to leave at 3:45 because I was thinking like I'm not trying to play around with the shuttle. Okay. Um, I don't know if I told you guys that already. Let me see. How does this work? I, I told you I packed my tripod up, so I can't. Like, I'm like holding y'all. But anyway, I told you guys I'm taking the shuttle. Well, I don't know if I told you I'm taking the shuttle, basically. So I'm going to drive my car to the airport, pay for the parking. And yeah, so I'm going to do that. Um, so I want to make sure that I get there. The last time I did the shuttle thing with my best friend, we went to Atlanta. Um, you know, they got to pick up other people. I was like, you know what? And I, and we were late, too. Remember, we missed a flight. If you guys remember that vlog, I'm carded somewhere at the top. We missed a flight, right? So <laughs> I had to... Uh, I was irritated at the point because I'm like, oh my gosh, like the shuttle, can y'all hurry up? Like we got to get to the airport. But you know, they're picking people up, taking the time, putting the luggage on. I'm getting impatient. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going to do it to myself this time. I'm going to get there on time, get there early. So that if the shuttle is picking up people, I don't care. I'm chilling. I'm on time, you know? So, um, yeah. Oh my gosh. Perfume. I gotta get my perfume. I didn't do my nails yet. It's too much. It's too much. So if you guys don't see me again for the rest of the night, I'm going to try to like really put a speed on it. Um, you guys will see me at the airport. So, so first, first they said that the plane was going to land at 10.47 and I should be getting my luggage by 11. Then they said I went up there to try to figure out which, which one I should be picking it up from. And now they're saying the plane doesn't get here until 12.34 and I should be getting my luggage by 1.15. So I'm just over it. Like, I'm really over it. Um, I'm over it. And hopefully it even comes then. Like, what's, like, I'm hoping it's just, I'm just hoping it's not lost. Like, oh my God. It's just like stressing me out. Um, they did give me a meal voucher for me to get some food because I've been here since the morning. But honestly, I can't even think about food. Like, I'm not even hungry. I just want my stuff like that's it like I just want my stuff and I hate that this is like my first solo trip like I hate that I really do so I'm just sitting here annoyed um but I'll keep y'all updated so no luggage. <laughs> uh, I just decided to just go to my room because I'm just like, if I if I sit there, okay. So this is what's going on basically because I know some of you guys are probably like, well, what the heck? Um, basically, my luggage. Well, the last thing the guy told me was that my luggage was scanned onto a different flight. He doesn't know why they keep switching my luggage or why they're not. Why is it not getting here? But it keeps going to different Newark flights. So he said that the next flight wasn't going to get there until three, three thirty. 
So I was really about to just sit there and wait again. I was like, yo, I don't really, I don't want to leave this airport without my luggage. Like, I don't want to do that. I didn't want to leave without my air, without my luggage because it just, I just didn't trust the process. Like them delivering it. Like that just seems like such a drawn out pro process. Um, so I was really going to wait. But honestly, I think being in the airport, it was giving me so much anxiety. Like just sitting there. I just couldn't stop crying like I just was so frustrated like when I say defeated I mean I was defeated like I was just sitting there like yo I came out here for nothing like I just was sitting there just my mind was all over the place so I was like yeah I need to get out of here maybe go take a nap or something unfortunately I can't change um, one thing I do I always put my underwear in my pajamas and stuff in my carry-on because I usually put it in like a little baggie and since it's not gonna get scan you know it's not it's not it's closed so i just put it in my carry-on so i do have like a change of underwear and uh pajamas like my shorts and stuff so i could take a shower and just kind of relax if i wanted to um um in the meantime so i'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope that it's on the next flight my luggage is on the next flight because he said that they'll if i'm staying at a hotel then they can ship it out at any time so uh, i'll just wait for that <laughs> and hope okay I just kept sitting there thinking to myself like let your optimism speak right now <laughs> like <laughs> you got to be optimistic about this because I don't have the money to replace everything in my suitcase I mean I know that the airports will give you uh they reimburse you for some of it but they don't be giving you enough honestly that little carrot car bag that with the chain the little brown bag that was expensive <laughs> that was like what I consider to be like my first luxury type of bag don't ask me why I didn't put it in my carry-on I did have the thought but I wasn't expecting for this to happen of course like I've never had an issue with my luggage so it just learned my lesson basically okay um so I'm like let me just go I really would love to show you guys the whole giddy up but I don't even have a comb for my hair like I just feel uh you know uh <laughs> I don't feel the best so I'm not even gonna like fake the funk okay I'm just gonna chill and I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a room tour because I love the Sea Baldwin Hotel like I always stay here this is my well I stayed here the last time I came to Houston and I was like oh yeah I gotta come here again because it's just super cute um the aesthetics are there like around the whole hotel it's nice so I was like I'm going back there specifically to take pictures like specifically that was the whole point in this trip and I also was upset because I have two content brands I have two brands to do content for by Friday so I was like my content stuff is in the luggage of course so I can't even submit that I can't even film it I can't film a video for y'all like <laughs> uh, I'm stressed like I'm just I'm gonna just leave it up to God at this point you know that's all I can do sorry I'm holding the camera of course but um i was like you know what i don't know what lesson god is trying to teach me i don't know if he wants me to relax <laughs> i don't know if this wasn't a good time to go on a trip i don't know if um maybe this is a lesson in patience and letting god work his magic <laughs> type of thing um so i'm just gonna like wait it out i guess and keep you guys updated like i said i am going to give you a room tour on it i am going to do that i don't know if i want to I guess I can do it now. Come on, let's do the room tour. Um, first things first, absolutely not. Like, are y'all serious? It's not even that hot. Anyway, um, okay. So, okay, 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 let me turn the lights on. I'm not gonna show me, cause I look a mess. So, first when you walk in, boom, 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 cool. Slide in, they have like this slide in door here. I guess I'll just show that it's a mirror right here. <laughs> um, so they have like a little, it's a little like hook here. This is like some green decor. I wonder, where's another light? Or maybe, um, okay, I gotta turn another one on. Okay, so here it's just like a little cabinet space. So I have like some drawers, safe, of course. This is like the standard for a hotel. As you guys see, I did do my nails, they look a mess, but you guys still get the vibe. Actually, when I went, the last time I went to Houston, I had the same color, but that's a different story. Um, drawer again, you see these like really pretty leather, you know, this leather feel, leather feel to it, gold, green, like very cute, very aesthetically pleasing. Um, we're gonna come over here to this little cabinet, which is, well not cabinet, like a little thing thing. Oh, they have a steamer. That's so funny, y'all. It definitely used to be irons. Now they just up upgraded to steamers, society. <laughs> um, but over here, they just have like this little a spot where you can hang your stuff, little hooks and stuff. Um, I guess this is what, more storage? Is it storage in here? No, it's just under, okay. Yeah, so some more storage. 
Oh no. Y'all, my nail is coming off. This is crazy. Okay, anyway. Um walk into the bathroom. Where is Oh the light is over here. The light is over here. So they have just like some decor little stuff. This gold well it actually opens out so you can see the bedroom, but um cute little circular mirror mirror <laughs> um black appliances love the gold we love the black and gold she's cute toilet shower as you guys can see see okay hmm when i say here the last time there were it was a tub i kind of would have liked the tub more but it's okay <laughs> um but look at the shower gorgeous shower really like we love the waterfall uh shower head <laughs> Black appliances, of course, like I said, come out here. This is just the king little bed, king room or whatever, king size, whatever, whatever. Um, <laughs> you guys can see king. Okay, cool. They have like a little sitting area here, this little table. That's actually really pretty. Um, curtains, of course, it has like this very cream, neutral, natural color to it. You can't even tell because I'm facing the sun. But over here, it's just like... Um, Cute little chair with a little stool and some decor, gold, of course. Oh, let me make sure. I, all right, this. Oh, it's down here. I forgot. Yeah, it's down here. Okay, yeah. So, cute little space. It's just me, child. Um, so yeah, it can it can make for definitely a cute space once I get my stuff. Um, but the downstairs is even nicer even nicer okay i did uh when i took a picture there before i did have someone ask me where i took that picture and i literally told her where i took the picture and she came and took a picture in that same spot and i was like yo i love that <laughs> it was such a cute spot but what's funny the spot that i took a picture in isn't there anymore it was like a little couch i'm gonna put the picture on the screen it's like that little couch it's literally not in that corner anymore but honestly the place the hotel has so many cute photo ops like everywhere places i haven't even been i didn't even go to the last time i was here so that's what i want to do this time um hopefully my luggage comes today so i can get some stuff done if not we're gonna hope for tomorrow um and yeah like i said i don't even have a comb to take my hair out like to, to comb it out so it's been wrapped all day anyway i'm gonna take a nap and i'm gonna check back in with you guys hopefully later by the time i check back in i got some good news Hopefully, hopefully y'all will see that, that white luggage, hopefully. <laughs> Wait, I forgot to show you guys. They don't have a microwave, which is a bummer. Um, oh, they have, oh, this is where we went the last time. We went to Rosalie's um, and ate inside, really cute. I'm gonna put some pictures on the screen from that little, from this place, super cute. But they have like a little mini fridge. I do remember this, it's like really mini. Um, yeah, like, girl, my, my Capri Suns can fit here though. <laughs> But no microwave or anything like that not even in the bigger room they didn't have a microwave either so that's the bummer i guess but still cute it's actually so perfect i don't even want to <laughs> lay on it <laughs> they be doing their they be doing it so nice how they do that so nice <laughs> then it's me looking like who did it and why um yeah i'm definitely not gonna unwrap my hair right now because um I, I just i'm about to lay down i suddenly lay down yet so in true morgan fashion and i'll open up the blinds <laughs> um but i'm just sitting here looking like look how pretty everything is even with the traffic <laughs> guys see all the traffic um but look at just i'm just so blessed to be here you know even despite all the nonsense <laughs> just blessed and i'm happy even though i had you know a little rough morning I'm so happy <laughs> um so it is about 9 15 or so i've been in the room all day no luggage no luggage just vibes <laughs> um and i was just sitting here like i finally decided to go up and go to the vending machine and just get something to drink i have not had anything to drink since like 12 because when i got this yeah i got this food around like 12 and they gave me a water so i had like a sip of water and i have not had anything since then um so i <laughs> now granted yeah i could have went down to the bar or like not to the bar but there's a restaurant in the hotel so i could have went down there and got something but i just look a mess i don't mm. i was sleep too like i was just really exhausted so i just slept 
and waited for an update they did update me about 7:55 to say that my bag had been picked up from the airport and it's like out for delivery type of thing so i'm just waiting to see when they'll get here i did just call downstairs to see if it was here and maybe they just got busy and didn't tell me <laughs> hoping for a miracle at this point but um it's not here so now i guess i'm just trying to think like what i want to do when it gets here like do i feel like well it's 9:30 yeah like i guess am i going to film am i going to get dressed go take some pictures am i going to just <sighs> i guess <laughs> i guess it depends though because i wanted to get up early and i wanted to like go to a coffee shop like i wanted to do something in the morning so i don't want to be up all night doing content when i can really just make tomorrow a whole content day as long as my my luggage is here soon i guess um so i don't know um i'm probably just going to chill honestly like I just wanted to come on here really quickly and update you guys about it but y'all yeah my packet my uh, i'm just hoping everything's intact like you know i just hope everything is okay besides my my bag just getting here like i hope that everything else inside is okay um so yeah i did just recently get got some ice too when i went to the vending machine i just let me put that down let me put that down <laughs> uh, i just got some ice too and i'm just kind of like um just chilling really um i've been watching hgtv all day um love it or list it so i'm gonna check back in with you guys later and then just kind of let you guys know what i end up doing um i do really want to film something because i i didn't want to take i guess i could spend all day tomorrow doing it but i wanted to split up the tasks okay i wanted to split it up but you know you got to do what you got to do i guess but i'll talk to you guys later um i guess i'm feeling good knowing that it's on the way like at least it's not literally lost in cyberspace like at least it's somewhere um so it's it's helping me be a little bit more optimistic and just like okay i'm just gonna get it later it's all right as long as it's coming i'm gonna be good okay <laughs> so i just got a text saying um literally literally these words luggage coming you are second stop all right now the next time i pick up this camera i'm gonna have this luggage okay and i'm gonna be yeah i'm gonna be having this luggage on the floor brb it is 10 15 secure the bag alert <laughs> guess who got her luggage hey girl missed you um <laughs> So, again, I'm still debating on if I want to do anything. I mean, I kind of want to just maximize my time in a way. Like, I feel like I should do something, but, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. If you guys see something, you guys know I did something. <laughs> forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. literally look at how messy <laughs> but this is the get up so this dress i got years ago y'all like from shein um i wore it once in miami it used to have these little like i think it had like clear straps 
and what's really annoying is that it rolls down so as you can see i'm still pulling it up and you can still see the little strap holder thingies but i feel like if you cut it it might look like ripped i don't know so i just never cut them but anyway i'm just gonna go take some pictures i decided to do so i just did my makeup as you guys could see um shortcut going when i was at home i was trying to figure out if there was another way i could wear it like i tried to push it all the way back like so it can like look sleek but it didn't look right <laughs> so i'm just gonna like play with it over the next couple of days putting it behind my ears and stuff like that um and then i just have on my clear little sandals oh this is my little gel petty that i did i don't know if i ever showed you guys my little gel petty um but these shoes i think are from like semi oh my god i'm losing my balance they're from like semi shoes um and yeah for jewelry these are let me clip you whoa um the jewelry the, these earrings are from Fran's house i always have them linked below i do have a code for them if you guys are interested it's m flowers 10 all caps um necklace is just my little morgan necklace that i got the, years ago i don't even know i couldn't even tell you where it's from um but that's it i'm gonna go take some pictures i'm still trying to figure out where i was thinking i wanted to try in here hold on let me flip you again um but i was thinking i wanted to try on the couch like maybe that would be like a cute little vibe if i like set up my light move the table and just kind of sit on the chair that green it's like a green um it's a little green you know you see it <laughs> and then it has like this little cute mirror i would probably have to yeah i would have to move that all the way out the way so i might test it here just to see so i won't have to go out but yeah <laughs> it up made all the difference i wait i'm gonna see did i delete them already yeah i'm gonna show you guys how they look close so this is a close one right oh wait this is a close one as you can see okay you can kind of see me you know you can't see my feet too well if it will focus yeah okay so you can't see my feet too well kind of close to the camera i don't even like the picture my cheek is out but anyway um i'm just showing you guys that as an example but i'm gonna show you one that was further back and i'm gonna show you guys how much of a difference it makes in the just the, posi the positioning of the camera this is the one that's further back it just gives editorial like it almost gives like i'm supposed to be in a magazine somewhere you know what i'm saying but it just you can see my legs you can see my shoes it's giving the whole background like makes makes all the difference so when you're taking pictures keep that in mind like try to get some space um, it just makes the pictures look more professional, like almost, you know? Um, so I actually, I'm thinking about actually switching my outfit and just like going to a different spot. Cause that was the whole point, honestly. Like I just bought a bunch of outfits just to switch out of them and take pictures and yada, yada, yada. So if I like, I'm going to take a couple more with this angle and then, um, I'm going to switch my outfit and we're going to do something else. Probably outside of the lobby i mean in the lobby or something i'm just the only reason i'm skeptical about it is because i have my whole light like i got a whole giddy up like i gotta carry my tripod like it's different when you're with someone because they can just take the pictures of you as opposed to you setting up a whole shebang but it is what it is i guess right <laughs> so now that i'm done with those pictures i want to show you guys my next little giddy up um i actually just paired like a satin top with this it's actually a slip you guys really see i don't think so but it's actually like a slip it's a skirt but i wanted to make it look like a dress like it's supposed to go that way so satin little vibe and then i have the little I'll show you guys my shoes <laughs> and then i have the little feather heels with this so i'm gonna wear like a little black bag with it um my little mini black bag that i got from shein um i'm gonna i actually have a vision for these pictures i want to take them in front of 
this is just so bright wow i didn't realize how bright that was but i'm gonna take them in front of the elevator um literally just right outside my room so like i'm not even going far um i'm gonna prop you guys up with something if i can find something um and just flick it up it's literally like one in the morning but i wanted to get the second shoot out of the way because i have makeup on already <laughs> and tomorrow i kind of wanted to film i wanted to focus more so on filming and showing you guys the vibe um so i wanted to do that i do have some content to create so for yeah like i said i mentioned this to you guys earlier i have content to create for two brands so i wanted to get that out of the way tomorrow so i'm like let me just get at least two pictures out of the way and i'll be i'll be satisfied for the night you know so let's go i actually wish that these were silver wish they were silver but we're gonna see what we can do on the camera like how you guys are seeing it is how i would want the pictures to come out but it's not coming out like that at all so let me think so that picture session was a fail um i feel like outside of the hotel room downstairs is better for daytime stuff like my light just was clashing with everything and then when i turned the light off it was too dark it just nothing was working out and i'm like all right i'm taking more i'm taking entirely too much time trying to figure out where these pictures can go i only had one that was cute i'm gonna put it over here i only had one that i liked but then when i went back to that same spot i didn't like those so it's just like all right i'm just gonna call it quits for the night it's literally two in the morning so i still have to take this makeup off wrap my hair take a shower <laughs> we're gonna try to be up in the morning okay <laughs> my skincare routine it's thursday um and i'm actually about to start filming the little content stuff that i mentioned to you guys i did agree to a partnership with majori and they gifted me a little like necklace so i have to do like a transitional video with that so i'm actually going to film that on my camera because i'm not trying to run out of storage on this one um i do have to also film something for ali oop which i have to do which i was telling you guys last week i have to do something in my story so i have to do that which i'll film my camera so i'm just going to well should i film it on my camera well yeah no Ooh, how am i going to do that i'm glad i just thought about that because i don't have access i don't have my computer and how i usually get my stuff from my computer to my i mean to my camera to my phone i use my computer but i don't have my computer so if i don't post it early I mean, if I, my God, what am I talking about? If I don't use my phone, I won't be able to get it off my camera to post for tomorrow. So actually, I do have to use my phone, unfortunately. Um, I was really trying to save space somewhere, maybe make one of them like high clarity type of thing, but 
it's cool um i'm just gonna use my phone and then i'll be able to kind of let you guys see the process at least on the camera since i'm not using my camera so um it's like nine in the morning nine something yeah it's about nine so i wanted to go to a coffee shop but it's about to rain it's not really super sunny i mean of course i'm sitting in front of the window so it looks like it's nice and bright but it's not like it's kind of it's gloomy like i can see the clouds um um oh wait you see how gloomy it is like you can't even see the sun at all so i'm just going to um thug it out i guess i don't know what i'm gonna do i did bring um some breakfast snacks so i had some of my breakfast snacks this morning um so that maybe by the time i'm finished i can just go and get lunch from somewhere i don't know yet but we're gonna see <laughs> so by the time you guys are seeing this video um the story i would have already done so i'm going to talk to you guys about what i'm talking about or what i have to talk about um i basically have to create a story um on my on my instagram about mental health type of situ mental health type of questions basically so they give me a list of questions it's like three questions i have to go on there and answer but while i'm talking to you guys about my opinion on the question or my answer on the questions i have to use some of their products and um and the thing is like i don't have a whole lot of their products for my makeup so that is kind of a a little bit of a struggle but basically what i have to do is i can't show other pro other products in my video you know so as i'm using their products i'm going to be kind of showing you what i'm using blah blah blah, blah um and talking about mental health so the first question is more like uh, let me go to it the first question i have to answer is like what's your biggest insecurity like on your face so i'm going to talk about like what i feel like my biggest insecurity was it's funny because when i was younger I was in eighth grade right <laughs> this is not my insecurity by the way but this this is a part of the reason why i started to look at my face a little bit differently this girl i we were all having a conversation about like what our insecurities were or whatever so we're sitting at this like lunch table and she's like yeah she said um she felt like her nose was her biggest insecurity like her nose was big and i was like yeah i always felt like my um i always felt like my nose was big too because people always told me i look like my dad and my dad has a bigger nose um, so I think as I got older, I grew into my nose. It's clearly not big, you know what I'm saying? So, but at the time, that's what I was focusing on. And I also, when I was younger, I had a bump on my nose. You guys can kind of see like this raised look. I had this bump on my nose. It wasn't a pimple. It was just a bump that just sat on my nose. Like, so it was an insecurity of mine, basically. Like I was just, my nose was like, I wasn't feeling my nose all like that. So she said like, okay, um, it's not really your nose. It's more your forehead. And I was like, and at the time i was like my forehead big is my forehead big <laughs> so after that like i really was looking at my forehead like my forehead was big i just had this assumption that my forehead was big as i got older like it was crazy like i really thought my forehead was big but it's 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 normal size. it's not nothing protruding like it's not it's not big big but ever since she said that i just would she how she viewed me made me change my own opinion of myself like it was it was crazy you know what i'm saying even just being young and thinking about the opinions of other people like that was my insecurity for a minute <laughs> well i had you know growing up you always got little insecurities here and there but i thought my forehead was big just because she said it <laughs> um but my forehead is not even big so but anyway i'm going to talk a little bit about uh, insecurity and then i have to basically talk about like um what do i feel like or how does social media affect that and stuff like that basically stuff like that like I said, if you have me on Instagram, then you won't see it tomorrow because it's Thursday. So you'll see it tomorrow. Um, so let me, I'm actually, y'all know I got my content book. Y'all know I got my content book. So basically, I'm going to just write down the questions because they're on my phone. And I don't want to forget the question as I'm in the mode. And then I got to like exit out of the camera and go, like I want everything to look sturdy and steady and in the same place. So I don't want to be exiting out of my phone. I don't want to do that so simultaneously i have to do the product i have to do the that was loud simultaneously i have to do the video for majority so basically i have to do a transition video where i'm not ready first and then on the transition i have to be ready and i have to have the necklace on so literally i'm doing them at the same time like i'm going to start off with the majority one me unready boom 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 and then what i'm going to do is um i after as i'm talking about my makeup and stuff with the one brand once i'm done 
I'm gonna do the finish for Majori with the necklace on. <laughs> I'm not gonna two birds with one stone. So um so yeah, I'm just gonna jot down the things I need to talk about. And even like if I think of my own talking points, because I was thinking about this yesterday when I was in an Uber. I was literally thinking about like what my insecurities were and how I would word it and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do that in a moment and I will see you guys. Well, the next time you guys see me, you guys will just it'll just be music. It'll just be me doing it. <laughs> Let me just say this. Transitions are not my strong point. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> okay, so they want me to use a specific song. And I wonder how much this person the song is getting paid for them to do the campaign for all of all of the people in the campaign to use this one song. They cheating now. Alright, so anyway, um I don't know what to do because like do I put my hands up? I I'm just gonna put my head I'm trying to get it to stop or start at a certain point but i guess i'll just put my head down basically i have to transition on the beat anyway let me just go <laughs> that was ugly my nail look at my nail oh my gosh my nail can't be in it my nail can't be in it this is the highest cost Take you and make you off Left you and leave you lost Will you forgive me? Passed out all over town Tracks you and keeps you down Two times in a day around Will you forgive me? I can't control the feeling It was my camera dying as I was doing it Um, but I still had to do the transition The second transitional part for Majority, so I'm about to do that now Okay the full giddy up um so this is the necklace i'm gonna zoom it in for you guys this is the necklace it's just like this little and i can't even show my pinky because it broke <laughs> but it's just like this little wing pretty pretty oh not pinky <laughs> so basically i had to kind of highlight that in the video um but my shirt is wet wait did it dry you see these little spots it's wet um, I'm going to show you guys the full outfit in a moment after I finish this and then I'm going to go in the lobby and it's literally 10 in the morning <laughs> but anyway so TikTok isn't letting me continue editing it. I'm really confused. Like, this is the type of stuff that irks me. Because, why, how do I go, like, what? Why would they not let you continue the clip? Like, I'm clearly trying to go back to see if I can add the second half of the video. I saved it as a draft. I don't get why I can't. It just says save as draft, quit, or start over, which will cancel out this whole clip. So, how do I add to the clip? <laughs> that, what? That doesn't make any sense. And then this is just for posting. This doesn't make any sense. Like, how, like, what? This is so annoying. I just got, you know what? Now I gotta do it over. Is that what you're saying? I had to edit it in the moment. What's the point in saving it as a draft if I can't go back and edit it? If I can't go back and add to the clip, I don't get that. And that just irked me. <laughs> uh, now I gotta do it over again. Wonderful. Um, uh, wonderful. Um, adjust clips. It, it's like, how do I add to the clip? I would've, oh, I would've, I would've had to edit the whole thing, go through the whole thing first. That's stupid. That doesn't make any sense. So now I have to do it over. Cause, I, all right, bye. This is why I don't edit in TikTok. I don't play them TikTok games. I edit outside of TikTok, but I only edited to the TikTok because the sound that I needed was already on TikTok. So I was like, all right, maybe I'll just, Anyway, I'll do that later. So what I have on today, um, I'm wearing this shirt that I got from Shein. Um, this little lettuce sleeves, three buttons, and then I think, wait, are these shorts from Pretty Little Thing? Yeah, these shorts are from Pretty Little Thing. So this was like height of the Kim 
the Skims trend. I went on Pretty Little Thing and I got a little dupe. So basically this is just boom, boom, boom. And then this outfit really reminded me of Hanifa. If you know Hanifa, I'm gonna put a picture on the side. So this theme, this color scheme, ugh, yes. And then one thing that I always see is um, Hilo Lux, Monroe Steel. They always have these like mules that they wear. Um, they're from Bottega. These are like a Bottega mule. I got this from Forever 21. So I'm just gonna wear this with this. Hanifa, it's giving Bottega, it's giving knockoff or fancy on the budget, luxury on the budget. <laughs> so I kind of want to wear a pair of shades just to be a little extra. I gotta take these out. I wasn't planning on wearing silver with this. I was just doing it for the collaboration. So, bracelet. I wanted to wear a pair of shades, right? Like, is that extra? <laughs> this one, and then I bought a silver pair, which I'm not wearing. I bought a black pair, which I'm not wearing. And then I bought these two, because I wasn't sure. Because I feel like I wanted to do a shade look with these. But I wasn't sure which one. And this one kind of has the color of the bag, like a little bit that like tealish color in there. So that's why I bought these, but I wasn't sure. These I kind of wanted to wear with a different look. But I don't know. I'm just I'm just gonna take these and then just see if I like how they're coming out. And if I don't, then I'll just take them off. So that's that I I'm gonna finish putting on my jewelry. When I tell y'all this Gucci, Gucci Flora. I had this on yesterday. I really didn't. I never went back to get the bigger bottle. I really need to because I need to spray that. Like that needs that deserves to be sprayed and stayed all over the skin. <laughs> so I really need to go back and get the bigger one. But for now, girl, this stuff smells so nice. All right. Of course, I get it on the sleeve. See, you know, Morgan, this is crazy. Oh my gosh, it just smells so pretty. It's, oh my gosh, I can't get over it. <laughs> oh gosh, I read somewhere you're not supposed to rub it in. I always do it like out of habit. But I did read somewhere you're not supposed to like rub it into the skin because it messes up the notes or something. Who knows? My hair is getting stiff. <laughs> it needs to be re it needs to be like touched up, I guess. Like, I don't know. But I'm just gonna try and keep it maintained. I am gonna pack a bag because I don't want to wear, I don't want to wear my heels downstairs. Not really. Like I would rather just put them on. I'm not going anywhere right now, so I'm just gonna come back up to the room. And if I go out to get myself some lunch, I'm going to change. Yeah, some of these outfits I pack literally just for, literally just for the um, the picture. <laughs> Like, I mean, I would like to go out for real and actually wear one of these cute outfits because I do, I did pack some cute outfits. Um, but I'm not going anywhere as of right now. So, of course, I've been running out of storage. No surprise. So, I've been deleting stuff. I just need to get a new phone. I'm just going to get a new phone. I just got to see when I can. But I got this lotion from Ali Oop. I think I showed you guys before. It smells like papaya. The light just went off. Um, so I'm gonna take that with me just in case you ever just see a spot. I mean, I did lotion, but I don't know. It might be like, well, I look a little ashy right there, and put some on. Oh, it's so cute out here. This is a little like outdoor area. I did come here in December, but this is the first time I came all the way out here. So cute. Um, yeah, so cute. So I'm gonna see if I can maybe take a picture in this little area and set my tripod up right here, and then just like on the couch. I really wanted a stand-in picture, but we won't make it do what it do. It's, of course, very humid out here, so I don't know how much longer I'm going to have to be out here. Like, it's humid, but we're going to see.
Um, the couches are really cute. There's like a coffee stuff over there, which I didn't even notice until I came over here. But super cute, I thought it was just out there. And then they have this like upstairs. This is a stair, staircase right here. So I'm gonna try this area and see if I like it. tried a different location for the pictures and uh, this is uh i'm all over the place because my hair is irking me <laughs> like i've officially look at it like i officially reached the stage where it's annoying me and it doesn't look right and it's like i said it's a little stiff so i'm thinking just trying to put it behind my ears that way it can stay a little flatter because this one side was just doing the most um but what I was trying to say was that I tried a different location when I was taking pictures in the previous outfit. And um, it just gave change because I was, it was like the staircase in there that I was like, I want to try, but I'm not going to keep taking pictures in different places with the same outfit. Like I might as well just go change and then try a different location with a different outfit. So I just have on this little, this is actually a bathing suit top because I don't have a cute white shirt like this. So I was trying to pull it down and pair it with this little, this skirt I got from Amazon. It's actually a skirt, but I got it from Amazon and it's giving cheerleader. It's giving cheerleader back in the day. Um, <laughs> Cause I did used to cheer when I was younger, but anyway, that's what it's giving. Um, and I have it paired with uh, silver shoes. So I was trying to see if I wanted to just go with the little Majori necklace from earlier that I didn't even get to do. This little Majori necklace, or if I should put a chain on Weedy, or if I should just rock it a little, like do a little, jazz it up a little bit. Maybe I'll do that. So I'm gonna try this other little spot. Um, it's not even 12 o'clock yet. So um, that breakfast sandwich I was trying to say, I don't know if, I think the music was playing. So that breakfast sandwich and that matcha, $21. I was like, how did that? Y'all added something on there for sure. Um, but I was like, it doesn't matter. I only had the little breakfast snacks that I had from home. So I was like, let me just get some breakfast. And tomorrow I'll do like an actual coffee shop type of vibe. Well, I'm going to try. Um, I don't know. I have to go stack these. I'll be back. So somebody has a dog and they're just, and the dog's loud. Put the dog in the room. Close the door or something. Because this is crazy, girl. Um, but I literally just kind of like try to push my hair back. Like, so I'm just going to kind of wear it tucked behind both ears as opposed to it just, just being one. Oh, gosh. Spillage is annoying. Um, but the bag I'm wearing is going to be this one, the chain bag, the infamous. Um, I have a pair of silver shades. And what else do I have? Um, I'm going to wear my silver heels. So let's go. Yeah, let's go.
So this is the upstairs area. Um, I was trying to show y'all me taking pictures, but I don't think it came out right. I was just kind of in a rush because this is like a little staircase. But the pictures actually came out really cute. You can see kind of over, you know, this beautiful middle piece, whatever you want to call it. Um, these are like, the guy was telling me these are like the little meeting rooms. I could take pictures in this, why is it zoomed? <laughs> I could take pictures on in these little seats. Oh, I should try that, right? Those little green seats would pop really well. Um, this is another staircase. And then over here, it's much more natural lighting. Ooh, I thought about taking a picture over here because of all of the natural light. But honestly, it's a lot going on. It's a lot of people that keep walking by. So I would just keep having to stop and stuff. So super cute. And this is outside, of course, is where I was earlier. You can't see, but that's the outside area. This is a cute hotel. So I'm back in my room, took my clothes off, took the makeup off, um, and I'm just chilling and minding my business. I actually drafted up a TikTok and I drafted up a reel. So I've just been chilling and look at me in the reflection. <laughs> I have my shirt, I do have shorts on, but anyway, I was like, oh, I wanna make a reel with the outfit that I just had on. Let me fix this. So I'm like, I wanna make a reel as if I am putting about to put the outfit on. Um, of course I decided, to do the reel after I took it off. So basically it was kind of wrinkled when I went to go take it off. And I got the steamer going. Never used one of those before. So I'ma just try to steam this skirt because it just, lo it looks like I took it off. You know how when you take something off, it's a little wrinkled and like it don't look fresh anymore, you know? So I'm like, I don't know, like, is that extra? Maybe I should just just do it. <laughs> but the steamer's already going, so. <laughs> so I'm basically gonna do like the stack thing where I like stack my outfit, layer it to make it, sorry. To do it like that. All right, what's going on? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Do I put it on the coat? Okay, oh. All right now. I like the steamer. <laughs> Is it working? <laughs> Do you put it on the thing? Okay. All right. All right, that's a little better because it's like flatter now as opposed to how it was. It was a little like wrinkled and stuff. All right now. <laughs> I like the steamer. I might need a steamer for the crib. Okay, so I'm about to make the TikTok now. So basically, like, I'm just going to do it the same way I always do it, where I just kind of stack the outfit. <sighs> Hopefully, I don't run out of storage as I'm trying to do it. I literally will record one second. Like, that's it. I want to give myself one second of storage to take up for each little clip. If I can, you know, if I can, of course. One second, literally. So before I left for the trip, I wrote down in my content book a bunch of little picture ideas as I was inspired or as I saw something. So what the first one I have is a bathtub and face mask look. Like I wanted to use my face mask and just time to take a picture in it. I wanted the vibe to be like relaxation. I wanted to promote the brand because I have my um, Peter Thomas Roth mask. So I, that, was a, that was the goal, but I don't have a bathtub. So that vibe is kind of out of the way. I guess I could do in the bathroom. I guess I could do a picture just in the bathroom, maybe like at the counter. I don't know, but that's the other option. But then I came across this other one. I put heels on the bed in the sun. Now the sun ain't out right now, but I was like, well, maybe I can take a picture with, the, with my feather heels or just like a pair of heels that I brought and um, and put them like on the table and like make it look cute and like just to have a picture in the vault that's it like i just want to be able to have a picture maybe to post down the line maybe if i do like a photo dump or something like that i can have like something cute and yeah <laughs> so i'm about to do that um but like i said um i gotta find the feather heels that i had um i also have the ones from earlier i also have the ones from earlier these little bottega looking ones um because maybe that's something that i can post about like how Bottega on a budget 
and these are actually really comfortable because when I had them on earlier I was like okay I can see why Monroe still always wears she has so many different colors of these heels but in Bottega of course but she always wears them and she always talks about how comfortable they are so I was like well maybe I can make a cute little picture and find like and just kind of add some products around it and stuff like that not products but just items around it and go from there oh this is pretty much what I mean I know you're not really supposed to put the glasses like face down like that but I love how the table matches with the glasses just coincidentally so I kind of want to look like a little vibe you see I got a little perfume so I was trying to figure out what I wanted to add into the picture but just taking it literally like this from above or whatever I might have too many rings in here it's a lot going on but anyway I'm gonna just fix it up um and see how I like it. I switched to the bed. This was actually the original vision. And then I also switched the glasses to the silver. It just kind of fit the vibe a little bit better. Um, everything just kind of looks unison. So this is pretty much how the picture, sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's how the picture is gonna turn out. Hey guys, it's later in the day. It's literally six o'clock. Um, I'm about to do my makeup. I'm gonna be meeting up, well, yeah, I'm gonna be pretty much meeting up with two other YouTubers that live in the area. Jude and Coley Cole, whatever side they pop on, I'm gonna put them on the screen. Um, and we always support each other's YouTube videos. We have each other on Instagram. We chat here and there. I'm excited to meet them for the first time. I'm gonna try to do the majority thing over again and just film it on my phone. And um, since I'm already doing my makeup anyway, I do still have an opportunity to do it tomorrow before I leave. Um, well, not yeah, before I leave, basically in the morning, I have an opportunity to do it again. But I'm like, since I'm already doing my makeup, I might as well just give it another shot and do it differently this time. So I'm about to do that, do the little quick makeup, doom, doom, doom. I did post a reel today. <clears throat> um, yeah, I did post a reel. Um, I thought I had some ideas like over the last, like literally I was laying down. I was just asleep, if I didn't say that, but I was laying down and I had some different ideas about content and things that I could do. I kind of wanted to get dressed early so that I can get them out of the way, but I don't know. I, I'm not going to force, I'm not going to force too much. You know what I'm saying? Because I still have tomorrow, I still have a couple hours after I wake up before checkout to do little cutesy TikToks and whatever, whatever. So I'm going to just do my makeup really quickly and get myself together. I don't know if I mentioned that it was supposed to rain today. Like, what the heck? Yesterday, when I'm in the hot, when I'm in this hotel room, no clothes. I'm asleep. It's so sunny. The sun is just beaming in here all beautifully. I'm like, oh gosh, I'm missing all the action. And now it's supposed to rain when I actually can do something. Like, really? That's actually pretty rude. I ain't gonna lie. That's a little rude, yeah. Okay. But it's cool. I'm just gonna make the best of it. This is really my last day really um so i'm just going i'm literally doing my makeup in my my camera which is probably not the best idea because you know how the camera be messing up the how stuff looks it'd be giving you a, a different image than what's actually there but i wanted to do the little majority thing and i didn't bring a little portable mirror so it is what it is but anyway i'm gonna just do a no foundation look I did that earlier today. I just basically used just concealer and some blush and I called it a day. So I'm gonna check back in with you guys when I'm done um, and when my clothes are on because I do wanna get the ball rolling, so. Okay, I'm dressed. Sorry about all the boobage. This is a little small. But anyway, this is just a little lingerie type of top and then I have on a pair of ripped jeans. Ripped jeans. And I'm wearing my little sandals. I got these from Nordstrom. Um, the brand is called Open Edit. Really inexpensive and really comfortable. Like they kind of have like a little padding to them. And then the bag I'm gonna wear. This was the this was the initial bag. Like this is what I paired when I was trying on my outfits. This is what I paired to wear with the bag with the outfit. But this little bag, child. This is just for pictures. This bag is just for pictures. You can't really. I'm not really trying to go out with that, so I'm just gonna wear this one because I don't have any other bigger black bags with me. So I'm gonna go with this one, and I think I'm gonna try and fit my camera in there. I may have to break down the body because it's still not that much space, but yeah. Right.
It's about to die. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Good morning. <laughs> it is Friday. Um, it's about 8.15 or so. Um, I was really just sitting here contemplating on what I wanted to do for the morning. Because I was like, I leave today, right? And I was like, checkout is typically like 11 for hotels. I could be like 11 o'clock. So I was like, if it's already 8, I thought about going to a coffee shop. But I'm like, if it's already 8 o'clock and I head to the coffee shop, sit down whatever uber whatever and then i probably wouldn't come back they i probably wouldn't be able to come back here to maybe like 9 30 10 and if checkout was at 11 that would only give me an hour to like repack and film a little bit for you guys because i want to i want to um film myself repacking i had a couple little video ideas as well so i was like that will only give me an hour so i was like well maybe i won't go to a coffee shop but i called and they said checkout was at 12 so that honestly made me feel a lot better because i'm like okay i got a little bit more time um and then i can just really just head to the airport i was gonna go to coley cole's house afterwards um she was one of the girls that i was with yesterday i should have brought my camera i thought because the last time i was in houston if you guys remember um i put the vlog up here somewhere if the last time i was here i had to i bought my camera and i tried to go in this place and it was like nah you can't bring that so i had to literally uber all the way back to the hotel to drop well to this hotel to drop it off and then uber all the way back by myself because my friends like my my best friend and my sister were already there and i'm like go ahead and just get a table like y'all don't have to uber back with me um but that was really annoying so i was like i'm not even going to bring my camera and chance i'm telling me that i can't bring it in or whatever so um i didn't bring my camera um but i wish i did because they both had their cameras <laughs> um i wish i did but we had a really good time after after we we came from 13 i don't know if i mentioned that to you guys we went to 13 which is james harden's james harden's oh it's his restaurant i think it is it is his, still his restaurant so we went there and then after that after dinner and everything we had yeah i had um i did have some food i had a little bit of rice and then i had a little bit of french fries <laughs> the most random breakfast or the most random dinner ever um, but then we had like hookah and we had a drink, which you guys, I put on the screen. I don't know if I got a video of it. If I didn't, I'll put it on the screen. Um, it was a cute little drink and then it was called a sidecar. That was the first time I ever had one of those. Um, and then after that, me and Drew just went to this other little spot that we found just literally walking around. We just walked in and then just started dancing, <laughs> having a good time. So it was fun. Um, I told him I would definitely be coming back at some point. Um, but instead of just going to Coley Cole's house, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to Uber. Now since checkout is at 12, I'm going to Uber back to the airport. Um, I'll probably get to the airport, um, maybe around one or so because the airport is maybe about 30 minutes away and I may not Uber directly at checkout. I may just chill for a second in the lobby just because it's a little early and also the lobby's cute. So... I was debating on what I wanted to do. I might go to a coffee. Well, I didn't want to go to the coffee shop just to have a little bit of a breakfast and just to chill. Um, yeah, so I have some content that I wanted to that I have an idea about creating. So I'm gonna do that, and probably when I get to the coffee shop, I'll probably just edit it on my phone. Um, and but this content, I don't have no more storage, so I'm gonna have to create this on my camera. So I'll see you guys later. I'm back um, I'm back in the same outfit because I just had a random video idea why does it look crooked like I think I just need a new tripod it's like it just looks crooked to me like look I'm I'm definitely crooked but anyway sorry I think I'm crooked but whatever um oh it's actually driving me crazy hold on 
okay i think that's like a little better i don't know if you guys can see it but i can it just looks off <laughs> but i'm back in the same outfit because i had a video idea or a tiktok idea or a real idea um i wanted to basically do like a what would you wear type of vibe where i'm going to just like kind of walk into the scene and it's going to be i'm going to have one outfit on and i'm going to show the outfit details like the shoe the vibe whatever whatever and then I'm gonna walk out of the scene and then walk back into the scene. Like it's gonna look like I'm just walking in and out. I thought about trying the split transition. I explained this to you to you guys like vlogs ago, where it's like it's once it's one scene and it looks like I'm sitting on both sides and it's basically a way that you edit it. But I honestly don't know how to edit that and I don't want to film it and then it flops like and then and then I just don't know how to do it, you know. So I want to go, I'm taking a safe route. I kind of have to practice that one a little bit and see what apps I need to use. I have to kind of go over that process again. So I'm going to just make it easy on myself, you know. It's like 9.45. Um, the coffee shop was, was cute. It actually wasn't the one that I thought I was going to. It's the same name, but I guess there's a couple locations. Um, so it wasn't the one that I thought I was going to. The one that I thought I was going to was a little cuter. But it's okay. I still had a little, I just had a little blueberry muffin, as you guys could see, and a little iced coffee. So that'll put something on my stomach until later. Um, I'm probably going to grab something at the airport, unfortunately, but I won't be hungry until I'm there. Um, but I wanted to be honest with you guys real quick. I did not film a separate video like I intended on, right? I wanted to do like, I had different video ideas in my mind. I even asked Instagram, like, what would you, what do you guys want to see when I'm out here? What other video besides a vlog should I film? I'm just trying to, like, put the steamer back. But I didn't get a chance to do it. And at first I'm like, Morgan, like, that's a part of why you came out here. Like, you didn't do a video, like, ugh. But at the same time, I think that day one, like, me having my luggage lost, like, that threw my, as you guys could probably imagine, that literally threw my whole trip off. So, um... I was like, you know what? I'm pretty satisfied with what I did out here. I definitely have about four or five pictures that I'm able to post over the, the course of the next couple of weeks, really. Because I'm not going to post them all in the same week. <laughs> so I have a couple of videos or pictures I'm able to post. I also have a, a some reels, like I'm doing this one. And then I have like other little reels and pictures that I took. I can do like photo dumps. Like I'm pretty satisfied with what I came out here and did. I met some other YouTubers, which was nice. And like I'm I'm happy with it. You know, I did come out here, like I said, I wanted to film a video. Really a part of it a part of why I wanted to film another video was because I like I, like <laughs> I wanted to do a skincare routine, but I don't like my bathroom. Okay? As pretty as that sounds. I don't like my bathroom. Like my bathroom isn't good enough to give y'all the vibes. Like I want I'd rather do something like that somewhere else. Um but that was, oh, let me turn it this way. <laughs> that was a part of the reason why I wanted to come to a hotel, you know, just to do it a little differently. Oh, um, but it's cool, you know. Um, I was able to, like I said, take some pictures and I got some reels and just different types of content. I got a, I'm definitely vlogging. I've been vlogging every day. So I think I'll have a, de a decent length vlog for Sunday for you guys on Sunday and then when I get home I'll be able to do Wednesday's video I'll just do something else so I'm satisfied and I hope that you guys enjoyed the vlog it's not done yet I'm not doing the outro right now but <laughs> I was just throwing it in there and if you are watching this and you're not subscribed to me yet girl go ahead and do that wherever it is down here down here and also if you can you please like it too because that's what helped my video push to a larger audience if you guys are liking it and um i'm gonna get started on the reel i am gonna film it on my camera because my storage y'all know the vibes um so i'm gonna film it on my camera so the next time i check in with you guys i'll probably be packing and like repacking and getting everything organized so i can get out of here so bye okay guys it's 11 o'clock i need to repack <laughs> look at this place Look at this place. <laughs> uh, I need to repack expeditiously. Oh my gosh. All right, let me get to it. <laughs> This
single for a while now And I've been kinda lonely But I'm looking for somebody to talk to Love me Someone who can hold me Is that you? I'm looking for somebody Showed you guys the lobby area. This is like just the entrance, and then they have like a little section off to that side. That's a very popular picture spot. That one there. I didn't take a picture there though. Um, we have this cute little cow chairs. They're adorable. I really should have taken a picture there with the um, cow purse that I have, but I didn't. <laughs> so then walk over there. That's kind of where the, the area I was in yesterday, and I was taking those other pictures. And then this little section i'm just gonna sit here for a little bit while i edit this um tiktok i have to post and yeah wait while well, i just checked out PTSD, right? My luggage. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, I'm, we're, we're good. We're good. No luggage issues this time. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back home. As you guys can tell, it is Saturday. Um, I I just did my skincare routine and everything. I actually got up at about 9.30. I was back in my, I was back and forth in my head. I'm like, Morgan, get up. Then I'm like, Morgan, you're tired. Then I'm like, no, Morgan, get up. Then I'm like, no, Morgan, you just got back from a trip. No, Morgan, get up. Like, I'm just back and forth. Um, I think 9.30 is late to wake up at this point in my life. So um, I was really like trying to get up earlier than that, but I was just so tired. Just trying to like come back from a trip, the travel, just now that that's over it's okay to relax okay um so i just want to take the rest of the morning to just clear my clothes put that away and um and just kind of reorganize the space i did wash my makeup brushes before i left so they're like sitting in the corner <laughs> i didn't even put them back like in my makeup little baggy thingy um so i'm going to take the rest of the morning to do that i'm probably going to make some iced coffee and just something um or maybe some hot coffee i don't know i don't know yet but i need to put something in my stomach basically so i'm going to do that then i'm going to clean up a little bit and it's literally raining out it's like gloomy and ugly like what that how i come back to this Ugh. so i'm just sitting here <laughs> i did not touch a suitcase at all but i'm relaxing i'm really off like i'm out of the office don't ask me nothing i don't know <laughs> no, I did have to respond to some emails earlier. Um, I did the, some video editing last week before I left for the trip. So I had to get that payment done. So he sent that over to me earlier today. Um, my dad texted me about when we could do content again. Sometimes I don't be wanting to respond until I'm ready. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I just responded to him and I figured out. And we set up a date for when we would do our content together this week. Um, I talked to my mom. I drafted up like three TikToks. Y'all, if y'all don't have me on TikTok, if y'all don't have me on TikTok, you might want to go over there. Because I have like, <laughs> I have a good like four TikToks drafted already and I'm not even done. I don't even have the TikTok that I made on my camera. I, this is all my phone stuff. So I have a lot of things to post. And I'm going to, of course, repurpose them into reels so I can, I'm probably going to post a reel or something every day on Instagram starting on Monday. So I have a lot. And I think, like I was saying to you guys when I was at the hotel, I really accomplished my goal. You know, like, I went out there to create content. And also to meet the other uh, YouTubers as well. But, um, so I did everything that I wanted to do. So, I'm, I'm happy. I told you guys that I'm ready. I'm happy. But, um, I'm going to just chill. I actually was watching some YouTube videos. I watched Octavia B this morning. And I also watched, um, Taja. And now I'm watching Chelsea. So, like, I've been just catching up on YouTube, too. So, I'm going to probably be doing it all day. I have Law & Order on, but it's muted. Okay? Um, so, 
I'm gonna keep doing that. I may, yeah, cause I gotta work in the morning, and I'm not gonna want to do it tomorrow. Tomorrow's Mother's Day, so I'm gonna tap into the bed. It's like one in the, it's like yeah, it's one in the afternoon now. So I'm gonna do my suitcase stuff as the day goes on. Um, I did make a bacon, egg, and cheese. It was actually vegetarian bacon with a little jelly on it. Oh, snapped. Yes, that's contradicting because I use eggs and I use veggie bacon, but it's cool because it was so good. Okay, bye. Double text. Got me out of my element I don't wanna feel like I'm selling Double texting